YouTube, this is Jeff and welcome back to my data structures and TypeScript series. In this video, we're going to go over lazy binomial heaps. And this is part one. And this is part one of three. Taking a step back for a bit, remember that our vanilla implementation of a priority queue was the binary heap. Binary heaps have logarithmic insertions and removals, which is good and fast, but its merge operation runs in linear time where it's O of n plus m, n is the length of the first heap and m is the, not length, n is the size of the first heap and m is the size of the second heap. We can do this in O of n plus m with the heapify technique. We create a new binary heap, place the elements of both heaps inside of that heap and then heapify it. But we wanted to do this faster. So the solution for faster merges was the binomial heap. The, bi the binomial heap implements merge in log n plus log m time. So recall the isometry between binomial heaps and binary arithmetic. There is an isometry because each binomial tree has two of the k nodes. And in a binomial heap, there can be at most one binomial tree of degree k. So that means at most we have log n binomial trees. Because of this beautiful isometry between binomial heaps and binary numbers slash arithmetic, merging is just like adding two binary numbers. So Thus, binomial heaps merge runs in O of log n plus log m time. So this is the story so far. This is what we have with binomial heaps. In queuing and dequeuing, everything doesn't change besides merge. We still have logarithmic insertions and removals. Peaking, containing is constant, and, and increasing and decreasing a key is logarithmic. But now we have our merge, which is log n plus log m. So that's better than just n plus m. But now the next question is, can we do better than logarithmic? Can we make this merge operation constant? What if we implemented merge in a lazy way? What if we just concatenated the two binomial heaps without the consolidation step? So we just combine the two heaps. The intuition behind this is why do any work to the heap if we're not going to do an extract min? So the intuition behind this is why do any work to the heap if we're not going to do any extraction? We just need to insert slash merge things into the heap. So let's just lazily add them together. So here we have two heaps, one's highlighted in blue, one, one is highlighted in purple. And when we merge them, we literally just concatenate them and we don't worry about the invariant being, in, and we don't worry about the invariant that's being violated. Right now we have, let's see, one, two, four trees of degree zero, two trees of degree one, and one tree of degree two. We just we don't worry about that. We just concatenate, concatenate them lazily and just let them be because right now we're not doing any extraction. So what's the point? So because of us doing this lazily, merge and in queue operations become constant now. So merge, of course, is constant. We're just combining and concatenating the two lists. And because in queuing is just merging two binary heaps, one of them being the heap with the single element of the new element, in queue becomes constant as well. But what happens to extract min? Let's see what happens. So recall the definition of extracting the minimum node from our priority queue, and in this case, it's our binomial heap. We remove, we have a pointer called min root to the smallest node, smallest root in the root list. We remove that from its children, so we cut it off, and we then union those children with the main root list. And now, in this case, we're going to do it lazily because this, this call, the second line of pseudocode is basically just calling the merge method and we have changed that definition of merge up above so this is going to be lazily and then we we have to recalculate this dot min root the pointer of that from the main root list so imagine we have this binomial heap and the yellow node highlighted is the pointer to the smallest node of the root list so we're going to remove it and because there's no children underneath one nothing has to happen so we remove one and then we find the new smallest node and, and point min root to it. So the new smallest node is two. So we remove it and then we have to recalculate the min root pointer, which needs to find the smallest root of the main root list. So in this case, it is two and we point min root to two now. Now let's say we wanted to call extract min again. So we remove the minimum root from its children. So we cut two, we delete two from the root list. And then now we have to, if you remember from the binomial heap, we have to um, add nine to the main root list, add as children. So we delete two, and then we add nine to the main root list. And, and notice how our heap invariant is still violated. We have four, four nodes of degree zero, 
and we're not doing anything about that because we're just lazily just adding its children to the main root list. Then we recalculate the minimum root pointer and the minimum root is three in the root list. Now let's call extract min again. So we're gonna remove the min root pointer from the root list and its children. So we cut three off from its children, which are six and four, and then eight right here. And now we lazily merge this, this children with the rest of the heap. And because union slash merge is lazy, we're just going to concatenate the two again. And then the last step is to recalculate the min root pointer from the main root list. So we're gonna to have to traverse the main root list and find that the, the, the smallest root is three. But now notice that each pass of finding the minimum value takes O of n in the worst case, or beta of n to be more exact. So we've lost our nice runtime guarantees for our deletion. Our extract min, our deletion is now O of n. It's linear, it's not logarithmic anymore because we don't have any guarantees on the, on the number of nodes in our main root list. So again, here's the problem with our lazy merge. In the regular merge strategy, our priority queue never had more than one tree of each degree. We always kept that invariant satisfied. So this creates the isometry with binomial heaps and binary numbers, because at most we have one tree, a degree k, and since each binomial tree has two k nodes, it's counting binary. So the length of our root list is always low, and to be exact, it's gonna be log n in the worst case. But now our root list does not have that guarantee. The root list in the worst case could be O of N because we could just, from the example that you've seen right now, we could just be performing a bunch of deletions of the smallest min, extracting the minimum root. And then because of that, we have to combine its children with the rest of the heap, right? But now because we're doing that lazily, we're doing that, that merging, that unioning, that combining lazily, in the worst case, our root list just becomes a flat list of nodes, and that's O of N in the worst case. So again, we've lost the guarantees of the length of our root list, and because of that, extract min now takes O of N instead of log N. So here's the solution to that. We still wanna keep our lazy merging, but we wanna make sure that extract min still stays log logarithmic. So we're gonna clean up the mess we make every time we extract the minimum root from the root list. We will call this cleaning up consolidating. So here's the new definition of extract min in pseudocode. We're going to one, remove this dot min root from its children. So we're gonna remove the min root from the root list and also cut all of its pointers from its children. And then instead of lazily merging the children with the existing heap, we're actually gonna consolidate the binomial heap and clean up the mess we've made from prior merges and in queues. Let's take this example down below. We have this binomial heap and we have the min pointer, min root pointer pointing to three, which is the smallest root out of the main root list. So the first step is to remove the min root from the root list and then consolidate the binomial heap. So we remove three from the main root list and now we have to consolidate. Now we're gonna clean up the state of our binomial heap. And what this cleaning up is really doing is making sure we satisfy the invariant again. And that invariant is that we can have at most one binomial tree for a specific degree k. So here we have four binomial trees of degree zero and two binomial trees of degree one. So we're gonna fix this and do our typical cleaning up. So here we have four and five, we're gonna link them together. Four is gonna be the new parent because four is smaller than five. And of course, we still have two binomial trees of degree zero, so that's inv that's violating our invariant. So let's link them together with four being at the top. So we link them together and they're linked. But now, but now we have two binomial trees of degree one, so we're gonna link them together with four being the new parent because four is less than seven. So here we link the two binomial trees of degree one and form a binomial tree of degree two. And they're linked. Again, we repeat and we see that we're still violating our invariant and we have two binomial trees of degree one, so we're gonna link them with four being the new parent because four is less than six and this is a minimum priority queue. Four is the new parent, they're linked, and that's that. And then again, we're still, in violating, we're still violating our heap invariant because we have two binomial trees of degree two. So we link them together, and in this case, it doesn't matter which is the new root because four is equal to four, and we form a binomial tree of degree three. So at this point, the mess is cleaned up. We're no longer violating our heap invariant. There's only at most one binomial tree of degree K. So in this example, we only have one tree in our entire binomial heap, one tree of degree three. But in other examples, you might have multiple trees as long as there's only one binomial tree for each degree K.
Now we're left with what we would have been if we had been cleaning up as we go. Remember that our regular removal operation from the binomial heap called union, which eagerly did this at each step, but now we're only doing it after we extract the minimum node. And this is the lazy binomial heap. The lazy binomial heap is a binomial heap modified as follows. Merge is just lazy. We want to be lazy and we don't want to do any extra work. The extra work here is basically massaging the data structure so we get that nice guarantee of the logarithmic forest. But there's no point in doing that until we need that guarantee and we don't need that if we're just going to be merging. We only need that when we're extracting the minimum node. So when we're merging, let's just be lazy, let's just throw plates into the dishwasher and let's just combine the two groups of trees together into one forest. We're not going to do any consolidation. We're okay if our heap invariant at this point is violated. So this ends up making in Q lazy as well because remember that in Q just takes the union of the existing heap with the heap with one element of the new node. And then each time after we're doing an extract minimum, we clean up our mess. So then we clean up our mess after we extract the minimum. So then after each time we extract the minimum node from our entire forest, we clean up our mess by consolidating our trees until there's at most one tree of degree K. So every time we extract the minimum node, we actually do want to keep our heap heap invariant satisfied. And this is called consolidating or cleaning up or coalescing. And remember, we only do this consolidating after extract min and not any other operation. And that's because if we don't, extract min is going to take a linear amount of time. And this is where we're going with the lazy binary heap. With the two operations in Q and merge, we now turn these into lazy operations and they become O of 1. With dequeuing or extracting the smallest node from our binomial heap, we're actually going to find out in the next video that in the worst case, this is O of n. But when we look at the amortized analysis, it's actually logarithmic. Just to give you a bit more intuition of amortized analysis before you go to the next video, think of the dishwasher example in real life. In real life, you can place dishes in the dishwasher, which is really fast. All you have to do is just throw it in the dishwasher. But when it gets full, you're going to have to run the dishwasher for a long time, let's say like an hour. We don't want to say that the worst case running time for cleaning a dish is O of N or one hour. We're looking at one individual worst case that is too severe, which is running the dishwasher. So really, if we look at the average case, each operation in the sequence of the dishwasher was cheap, still O of 1. We still want to count the time that we're actually running the dishwasher to be constant because if we average that time out across the total number of dirty dishes we see that it's constant and the intuition behind this is that we only wash and perform the o of n operation every so often so with respect to our binomial heap inserting and merging are done lazily we just concatenate or combine trees nodes to our heap and you can think of this as just throwing dirty dishes in the dishwasher we're letting a mess built up and that mess is the structure of our heap. We then run the dishwasher and clean our mess by consolidating our heap after we do an extract min. So in summary, the lazy binomial heap is all about being lazy. We want to be lazy, we want to procrastinate and leave the work for later. And we don't need to do the work of massaging our data structure every time we insert because we don't need the guarantee that our forest or binomial heap is log n length. We only need that during deletions. So a lazy binomial heap is again just a list of binomial trees, but when merging two heaps, we just link them together. And note that at this point, our invariant could be violated. We could have multiple trees, let's say bk with the same order k. And the real work is only done during the extract min, which is followed by a cleanup. And during the cleanup, we gradually link trees of the same order until we end up with at most one tree, bk for each k. So during the cleanup, we then make sure that our binomial heap or forest is no longer violating the heap invariant. So what the lazy binomial gives us is constant time in queuing and merging, which is really fast. <laughs> it's the fastest you can get while still maintaining that logarithmic extract min. And in the next video, we're going to go over the implementation for extract min and still see that even though in the worst case, it's O of n. If we look at it with an amortized analysis, it reduces down to logarithm. So this is where we're going. We're going to have constant time insertions and unions, merges, because we're being lazy. 
and then our DQ, even though it's O of N technically with that entire cleanup, and we're going to go over the analysis in the next video, and you'll see how that cleanup is still technically considered O of N. If we look at it with an amortized analysis, it's going to be log N. So the idea is that we only DQ once in a while so that the big amount of work with the cleanup is actually paid off with other operations. And if we look at it with an amortized analysis, it is log N. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.